idyllic lakes near Klaus Tal Zellerfeld in the state of Lower Saxony are a part of the Upper Hearts water management system. A complex system of ponds, channels and tunnels built centuries ago for ore mining and developed ever since. Joachim Niebaum grew up here and is proud of the fact that this engineering wonder received the status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2010. I was very happy that finally a man-made construction like this has been included in the World Cultural Heritage List. Personally, it was a very happy occasion for me. More than 140 ponds, 500 kilometers of trench, 30 kilometers of underground water ducts and 100 kilometers of tunnels that the Hartz miners built between the 16th and 19th centuries. Since it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the demand for tours has quadrupled. Joachim Niebaum takes the visitors to the historical waterworks. The tunnel Dorothea Roscher has been a tourist attraction for almost 15 years. At the reservoirs, Joachim Niebaum explains how clever the miners were. This pond where we are now, the Kala Teich, was built in 1673. That's how old it is, and from this spigot house they could regulate the water. In 1673, Inside the spigot house is a log of fir wood. By turning it, you can regulate the water flow from the pond. Moving on to East Hearts, between 1961 and 1990, this part of the Hearts belonged to the former East Germany. With the revival of the Hearts Railway in 1992, tourists could once again go up to the peak of the Brocken, more than a thousand meters above sea level. For almost 30 years, the peak was a restricted military area. Finally, we can go up and see what it looks like there. We'd only heard about it from the older generation, who'd been up there before the Brocken was off limits. We only knew about it from hearsay. We'd seen it, but never been up there. The first Brocken mountain railway started in the late 19th century, and the area saw a major boom in tourism. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, tourism boomed again, with 1.5 million visitors arriving per year. A trip into the mountain village Hohegeis. Friedemann Schwarz witnessed the construction and fall of the East German borders from the western part. The fence was exactly on the spot where the historical boundary stone stands. It's still strange, though it's been 20 years since the border has disappeared. It still feels weird and makes me think that for years, for decades, I've been living here since 1960, from the western side, when I looked over the border, I knew that I couldn't go there. From these houses, one looked directly at the impassable border that divided Germany for decades. The almost 1,400 kilometer long border strip that once stood here is a large nature reserve today. Near the small village of Zorga is the Circle of Remembrance by the landscape artist Hermann Prigan. I have a photo of it. I took the picture in 1992 when the circle was just built. You can see there. It was made out of dead wood from the surrounding forests around four meters high, and what is here now is really all that remains. 20 years after the reunification, Hearts once again knows no borders. Today, it is a popular tourist destination with a unique history.